heart disease, largely self-made, largely irreversible, largely preventable. But what do we really understand about it? Heart disease has to do with atherosclerosis, a narrowing of the arteries, a hardening of the arteries, so blood can no longer optimally flow to the different parts of the organs. It's a progressive disease. Here you see we are born with clean arteries, and after 20 years on a Western rich diet, you already have 20% narrowing. This is what we find in 20-year-olds. Now, when we spent some time in China, we looked for the same atherosclerotic process in people. People had died, of course. We look at the arteries, and we find 20% narrowing in Chinese farmers at the age of 85. So this is a disease that perhaps has to do with race, does it? Let's take a look at the Japanese. After World War II, it was virtually unheard of to find coronary artery disease in Japan. It was so rare in Japan that the University of Tokyo actually had to import, they had to purchase coronary arteries from Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore so they could show medical students in Japan what killed every third American. Think of it. Unheard of in Japan after World War II. They lived on a very simple diet. They had just gone through the war with all the stress and yet heart disease was virtually unheard of. Today, today, Japan no longer imports coronary arteries from Johns Hopkins University. Today, they have McDonald's. They have the fast foods. They have the basically Western diet. And with that, they also have heart disease and strokes and all the things that come with this. And so this is a very important concept, that this is not universal unless the diet, the lifestyle is universal. Wherever you find a Western lifestyle, you usually find heart disease. And with this atherosclerotic disease process, the number one disabling pathology underlying all these Western chronic diseases, you will then always find heart disease. It's affecting the coronary arteries. You find angina pectoris, the chest pain, because the coronary arteries are again narrowed down. You will find high blood pressure, narrowing of the arteries. You will find strokes, again related to atherosclerotic processes. You find hearing loss, visual loss. You will find mental cognitive loss, largely related to atherosclerosis to a large extent. You find impotence, sexual impotence, largely related to atherosclerosis, causing a narrowing of these very strategically important vessels. You have gangrene, you have renal disease, kidney disease. The number one underlying disease process of most of our Western killer diseases, chronic diseases, have to do with atherosclerosis and narrowing and a hardening of the arteries. But we can do something about this. We can do something about it, and it's actually so simple it would stun you. You'd be absolutely amazed, and I'll tell you in just a minute.